Check fire! That could have been bad. Now, as you guys have probably already know, Season 1 is out and it's ready to play. This new sniper is absolutely crazy. I love it. I will have my best setup for it at the end of the video after you guys see all the sniping I'm doing with it. But it is absolutely insane. If anything, it kind of reminds me of the Ballista from Black Ops 2. Alright, calm down. My hands are a little bit cold right now. This is first game on. So since I can't get any kills anyway, because this is first game on, let me go ahead and tell you guys about the new upload and stream schedule. So I'll be doing my best to stick to this stream schedule, and I apologize for my voice right now. I'm a little stuffed, especially in the morning. I, um, uh, I'm allergic to cats, and so I live with a bunch of cats, and it's just not a great fix. But the new schedule will be, hopefully, hopefully as I stick to it, It'll be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be videos. And then Monday through Friday, I should be streaming here on YouTube at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on so you guys can hop up into the stream and say what's up. I'm actually so excited to not have to use the longbow. I would say this sniper is honestly the best for pop shots. This is probably the best sniper we have for pop shots, except for the longbow. Now, I love the longbow, and nothing's going to be able to compete with that, but I, I missed my good old-fashioned bolt-to-action sling. Also, if you guys haven't seen the streams, I'm a little late to the game, but I'm on the grind for Interstellar. Right now, we're at Forged with all of the assault rifles. Me and my buddy uh, Joey, or BMG Wreck Progress, or Wreck, we just finished all of the assault rifles. We just finished the battle rifles as well. You know, snipers, of course, you know, we already have those. The only new sniper, the only way we have to work on is the new sniper, and that's the, we're on gold already. I'd also like to thank everybody who's showed so much support in the streams, in the videos. Just look at the past few videos we've uploaded, and I know it's been a few days, a week or two since I've uploaded a video, but I really would like to thank you guys for all the support that you have been showing me, and um, I'm hoping to, you know, make this into something more. But if there's any videos you guys want to see in the future, make sure you guys comment that down below and let me know what you guys want to see. I have decided to schedule out my Saturdays and Sundays to make sure that I'm doing research and content idea research because I want to make sure I'm getting as many videos out to y'all as I can. But I just don't want to be posting, you know, whatever kind of videos. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, making quality uploads for the channel. Hey, got gilded unlocked for this thing. Listen, I don't want to talk about it, but I've totally whiffed this entire game of Terminal.
Oh my gosh. We haven't been kicked for inactivity yet? You guys were fucking horrible, holy shit. I joined the game mad late. It was like yeah. 20. I've noticed that it, with all this camo grinding I've been doing, that you can really make a lot of weapons happen with like no recoil whatsoever. Okay, this kid's definitely cheating. <laughs> Look at that snap, dude. It snapped onto me. Alright, so we're gonna go over the fastest XRK Stalker class setup and the best class setup I would say in my opinion. So for your barrel, you want to make sure you have the Handler LKP short barrel. We finally were able to put barrels on, yesterday we were not able to. For the laser, you want the FSS OLE V laser, it'll bring down your uh, ADS speed a lot. Um, Eventually, when we're able to put it on there, we're going to have to put on no stock, and that'll actually boost it up a lot. For the bolt, you want to make sure you have the XRK Stalker light, because sometimes it just gets caught when you're trying to shoot it, and you need to be able to rechamber it faster. For the grip, you want to make sure you have the XRK Stalker factory grip. It's going to be the fastest one, bringing down the ADS speed. Now, personally, I run the seven round mag, even though it brings down the ADS sight, but I'm also a sniper and I like to, you know, try to hit clips. And so having the seven round mag is the best for me. But if you want to make this thing even faster, you want to put on a stock for right now, the Helix Light Stock. That's going to bring down your ADS speed by 3.2%. Now with the actual class setup, I would recommend having a mag holster so that you can reload faster and then the quick grip gloves and stalker boots. That'll help with the ADS speed, it'll help with switching weapons faster, and it'll help with reloading. Typically I do like to run stems, I don't know why I don't have a stem on this class, but I usually like to run stem and throwing knife and then a munitions box in case I run out of ammo. And then I run a knife as my secondary so that I can pull it out and run faster to try and go to the hard point or the flags, etc, etc. But overall, this is probably the best class setup that I have found with this sniper. And it is the fastest if you don't put the 7 round mag in there. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and go hit some amazing clips with this sniper.